Investigators releasing new video of an elevator attack that shows a woman striking a man months before she allegedly admitted to killing him. She says it was self-defense. 7 Sheldon Fox is live in Miami at the state attorney's office where the video and other stunning information was just released. Sheldon. Without justification, Lynn, and without any regard for human life, that is from the state attorney's office and from an arrest warrant naming Courtney Clenny as a murderer in the second degree. There's more as well. We'll show you that video again from inside that elevator that you just talked about. And this was not of the day of the murder, not from the day of the murder, April 3rd. This was from February 21st, and it was played by the state attorney today to show the violent dynamic that persisted within their relationship with Courtney Clenny, they say, as the aggressor during episodes like this one and others. You see her attacker, or I should say you see her attacking her then boyfriend, Christian Obumselli, in that elevator before he pushes her away and tries to restrain her. I want to take you to another image now. Let's fast forward to yesterday in Hawaii. And this is her booking photo. We showed it to you last night first. She was arrested by U.S. Marshals there. We're told she was in a rehab facility, and that's why she was in Hawaii. But as we show you some more video, we tell you why she was arrested. And these images represent why. This is from April 3rd. It's when she stabbed Obumseli to death in the Paraiso Condo in Miami. An eight centimeter deep stab wound is what killed Obumseli. And they showed us a picture of what the knife looked like today at the state attorney's office. Clenny, on April 3rd and just after the killing, claimed self-defense to Miami police. She was not initially arrested, but she is now. And here's state attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle from earlier. At 4.57, defendant Clenny called 911 to tell the police that Christian was, was suffering from a stab wound and needed help. On that 9-11 call, Christian can be heard in the background repeatedly saying that he was dying and he was losing feeling in his arm. Defendant Clady is also heard saying, I'm so sorry, baby. At this time, all the necessary steps are being taken as we speak for her return to Miami to be held accountable for this murder. But she has waived extradition. We're going to have a lot more on what the state attorney had to say and more on that now unsealed arrest warrant. Plus, we'll be hearing from others coming up on 7 News at 530. For now, we're live in Miami. Sheldon Fox, 7 News.